and i'm director of hospitality here at the precious blood renewal center so welcome to my cooking and spirituality segment today and in um in regards to celebrating uh the fourth of july our upcoming holiday i was trying to think of something that was out of the ordinary or something we really don't hear a lot about that i've made before but I thought I'd share with you today, and I learned it from traveling to different national parks. And um, this one is called Apple Pan Dowding. And let me tell you a little bit of the history behind this recipe. So our second president, John Adams, married Abigail Adams, who um, during colonial America, um, she was actually a big advocate for women and African Americans during that time and she was actually the first lady to be able to cook and entertain and be very um, hospitable to her guest in the White House. So um, uh, being from a German heritage, she um, her ancestors came with different recipes and things like that. So one of them was um, this apple pan dowdy and the reason why it's called apple pan dowdy is because one it's um, cooked in an iron skillet okay and two um, when you dow your pastry um, it's just a, another way of, of saying you're going to take a knife and you're going to um, break it up probably about 15 to 20 minutes into the baking cycle. So anyway, we're gonna do that. That's why if you look here, I have a sample here that I just took out of the oven and this is how it should look when it comes out, okay? So let me tell you about the ingredients. So, and the reason why I chose this too is um, this is the kind of food that back in colonial America during that time, this is the kind of stuff that they cooked for a celebration, whether it be 4th of July or birthdays or just family gatherings. So, um, so they made this and you can make your own pastry um, from scratch, which we're not going to do today, but uh, I could provide that that recipe for you on our segment. So, but it's a very simple recipe. It's kind of close to a pie crust um, recipe, but um, anyway, I'll have that available for you. But today, you can also use um, puff pastry um, store bought. So that's what we're going to use today. And um, let me tell you about the ingredients. So you're gonna first get at least six to eight Granny Smith apples. Now back in Abigail Adams' time, they used to get, uh, let's see, it's, they're called Newton Pippin apples. Those are found usually in the late winter time in the northern states of America. And so, but as the recipe evolved, um, we have, this is probably the Granny Smith apple is probably the closest thing we're gonna get to a Newton Pippin apple, okay? So you're gonna have six to eight of those and you're, um, and then you're gonna have uh, a half a cup of granulated sugar then you're going to have one teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, three tablespoons of melted butter, um, a fourth of a cup of water, a fourth of a cup of molasses, okay? The puff pastry, and then of course a cast iron skillet, if you have one. And I've already uh, sprayed um, cooking spray on there, nonstick cooking spray. So that should be good to go, okay? So um, what we're gonna do now 
is I'm going to go ahead and open up my puff pastry. And if you guys ever um, baked with this, what I'm going to do is take about, they come in sheets. So I'm going to take about half of this puff pastry and I'm going to just put it on the bottom here of my skillet and kind of create little, like you do on a pie shell, okay? So we're just gonna do that like this. We're gonna set the other one aside for right now, okay? So now we're going to put our sugar in here. We're gonna put our one teaspoon of cinnamon. Our half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And if you want, you could put a pinch of salt in there. So it's up to you. So now we're gonna core, we're gonna peel and slice our apples and then we'll put them in the bowl and combine all of that together. All right, so we've peeled, cored, and sliced our apples. Now we're gonna mix, combine the nutmeg, the sugar, and the cinnamon together. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now, while you're you know, doing all this, your oven should be preheating at 400 degrees, okay? So we're going, and some, some ovens, you know, you may have to preheat it at 425. So um, it just kind of depends, okay? So here we go. We're going to put this in our cast iron skillet. So all the apples should be covered with cinnamon and nutmeg and sugar. Okay. So, and I can tell you right now that smells really good. Okay. So now we have our one fourth cup of water. We have three tablespoons of butter that is melted and one fourth cup of molasses. Now, I tell you a little secret of mine. I've added at least another tablespoon of butter and a tad bit more uh, molasses and just a tad bit more of water in there because what's left of the juices in there after we pour it on top of here, we're going to put it on top of our um, dough. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so, so we're going to combine our molasses in the water. Okay. Then we're going to put, put our melted butter in here. And we're just going to stir this up. Very, very easy recipe. So we're just going to stir this up a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to pour it over our apples, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to leave a little bit of that for my top. Now, you're going to take the rest of your pastry dough, okay, and you're going to put it on top. Okay, and you're just going to press it in. And then you're going to pour the rest of this kind of on top, here and there. And then to top it all off, you sprinkle sugar on top. So I'm going to get some sugar. I'm just gonna, I don't measure it. I just grab a handful of sugar and kind of put it on top of there. 
we're going to put this in the oven at four hundred degrees for about fifteen minutes then we're going to take it out and we're going to do dowdy on our apple pan okay so let's put okay. it in the oven time to take this out and as you can tell puff pastry is cooking so now we're just gonna dow our and this is just what you do you just kind of cut it and just kind of dow it with the knife so it looks kind of uneven and shook up i don't know how else to explain it so so that's what you do and now we are going to reduce our temperature on the oven to 325 and we're going to let it bake for another 35 to 45 minutes and you'll know it's done once the um the apples, you see it bubbling, the molasses, all the juices are rendering in there and it's really bubbly. So you'll know that it's done once, once, uh, once you see that, okay? So we're gonna stick this back in the oven for that amount of time. All right, so here is our finished product. So here's our apple pan dowdy. And you can serve this with, um, it's really good with vanilla ice cream. But all I had today in my fridge is um, some uh, whipped, whipped topping, whipped cream. So I got that and we're going to use that today. So, and that's just as good too. So I'm going to dish some of this out. For me and my friend, we're going to sit down. This is good with coffee. It's good with tea, milk. If you want iced tea, you can have it with that. Okay, okay. you can kind of hear the crunch in there. So I'm gonna put a little more apple in here. Okay, so... You just do a dollop of whipped topping, just like that, and voila, here is our dessert for 4th of July, or any other family. Um, let me taste it, because I need to make sure before I serve it to you guys that it's good. Mmm, that's really good, and it's still warm. Mmm, it's really good, guys. Okay, so before we end our, our um, session, I want to just read a prayer that I found um, for Independence Day for the Fourth of July in celebration of our of our country. So. You just kind of pray with me. Lord, we stand here today as our forefathers have stood before you in times gone by, celebrating our history and revealing all in all the great things that our country has achieved. On this day, we rejoice in the favor you have graciously given us, and we thank you for the blessings of liberty for this generation and for the generations to come. We thank you for our independence, peace, and for all those who have bravely given their lives in the defense of freedom and of justice. We thank you that your gracious and provident hand has given us so much. Yet as a nation and people, we have not always chosen the right way. We ask you to forgive us for these times. And on this day, we commit ourselves wholeheartedly honoring and serving you. With everything that we are, we lay our lives before you. Make us a gener generous people, a holy nation, a people set aside to love you forever. 
for the sake of the land, of the brave and of the free, in the peoples and the nation of this world. Today, we do not presume your grace for our country. Our land is in need of you. Our people are in need of you. Our industry and businesses are in need of you. May we look only to you this Independence Day, dependent on you. Please come now by your glorious Holy Spirit. And we ask you all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So go forth and enjoy your apple pan dowdy for the 4th of July. And we'll see you next time.